Free Books Tube is glad to produce, publish, and offer. Unfulfilled, do not waste your today. By Sage D. Esso Treasure. The concept of dreams deferred is not just a mere passing thought or a collection of unachieved ambitions, but a complex web of internal and external barriers that we often face in our pursuit of greatness. We all harbor dreams, those pulsating ideas of what our lives could become, shimmering with potential and excitement. Yet, more often than we care to admit, these dreams are either postponed indefinitely or lost entirely in the everyday shuffle of life. Why do we let the fire of our aspirations dwindle to mere embers? What prevents us from tending to these dreams, fueling them to a reality we can bask in? At the core of this lies the dreams deferred phenomenon, a labyrinthine entanglement of psychological fears, societal pressures, and personal doubts. These factors weave an invisible wall between who we are now and who we could become. To understand why so many dreams go unrealized, we need to dissect not only human behavior and aspirations, but also our intrinsic connection to hope. Think about the unbounded dreams of youth, when our imaginations could stretch to the stars, and our ambitions seemed limitless. As children, we were encouraged to envision becoming astronauts, world leaders, artists, or explorers. These dreams glimmered like countless stars in the night sky of our minds. Back then, the world seemed like a vast playground, waiting for us to step in and claim our place. But as we transition into adulthood, weighed down by societal expectations and personal responsibilities, those dreams often shrink and get tucked away in the mundane routines of daily life. What once felt extraordinary morphs into tasks that lack the grandeur of our youthful fantasies. This shrinking of dreams isn't always harmful. In many cases, it's a reflection of maturing and adjusting to the realistic expectations of adulthood. However, the line between practicality and settling can sometimes blur. When does healthy realism become a straitjacket that limits our capacity for extraordinary achievements? When do the daily demands of life choke the life out of the spectacular possibilities that once danced in our imaginations? There's an insidious danger in postponing our dreams indefinitely. It's as if we put our entire life on hold, telling ourselves, one day I'll get to it until that day becomes a haunting reminder of what we never even attempted. This isn't just about the unachieved goals, but more deeply about the human spirit's struggle with time. The opportunity to act is fleeting, yet the urge to defer often wins out. And when we look at the lives of those we admire, whether they are entrepreneurs who've revolutionized industries or activists who've reshaped society, what separates them from the rest of us isn't just talent or intelligence. It's their refusal to let their dreams stay deferred. These individuals don't wait for the right time, which is an illusion. The perfect time to act is never going to arrive, 
It's something we must create by pushing against the forces that hold us back. But what are these forces? They can range from external limitations like financial constraints, societal expectations, or family obligations, to the more dangerous internal forces, such as self-doubt and fear. Self-doubt can be a formidable adversary. It whispers insecurities in our ears, magnifying past failures to gargantuan proportions, making us feel small. It convinces us that our dreams are too grand for someone like us to achieve. Each stumbling block reinforces this false belief and soon, the urge to try again fades away. This negative self-talk wraps around our decisions like chains, keeping us anchored in comfort zones, while just beyond the horizon lies the vast potential of what could be. Beyond self-doubt, there is an even more paralyzing force, fear of the unknown. The fear of what if looms large and casts long shadows over what could be. What if we fail? What if we lose everything? What if we're rejected? These fears are the specters that haunt our progress, turning what should be bold strides toward our dreams into hesitant, fearful steps. We may rationalize our reluctance, but ultimately, the deferral of dreams often boils down to a silent surrender to the fear of failure. Fear, an ancient emotion hardwired into our survival instincts, has its place in keeping us safe from actual dangers. But when applied to our ambitions, Fear morphs into a prison that locks away our potential. The prospect of failure, compounded by the harsh social stigma that comes with it, makes many people avoid risk altogether. In a world where success is constantly paraded on social media, failure is something to be avoided at all costs. The irony, of course, is that in trying to avoid failure, many people experience the ultimate failure, giving up on their dreams. But not all is lost in this seemingly grim narrative. Dreams deferred aren't necessarily dead, they are dormant. Within the postponement of ambition lies the potential for resurgence and triumph. Every dream that is put on hold carries with it the possibility of a comeback. It's a reminder that the spark of hope hasn't been completely extinguished, it just needs the right conditions to ignite again. Take the example of late bloomers. Those who, despite the passing of years, manage to rekindle their dreams and turn their lives around in spectacular ways. These stories remind us that it's never too late to pursue our passions, even when the world seems to suggest otherwise. Dreams are patient. They wait for the moment when we are ready to call them forth again. In exploring the phenomenon of deferred dreams, we are not just examining the reasons behind human hesitation or failure. We are delving into the resilience of the human spirit. Time may pass but the potential for renewal of purpose and the reclamation of dreams always remains. As long as we are alive, there's a chance to reignite the embers of ambition, to breathe new life into long-forgotten aspirations, 
and to march forward toward a brighter and more fulfilled future. In the end, this journey of understanding deferred dreams is not just about lamenting what hasn't been achieved. It's about recognizing that, even in the delay, there is hope. There is always an opportunity to rise, to push past the barriers, and to realize the dreams that have patiently waited for us to be ready. Dreams that we once had, those that have slipped by, are not truly gone, they await our renewed attention, fueled by our unyielding courage. The belief that our future is set in stone is a misconception. Life is shaped not by what we've missed, but by the choices we continue to make and the resolve to live in the light of what could still be. It's not about letting go of our past aspirations, but understanding that our true potential is always within reach, just waiting for us to act. When we examine the reasons why so many of our dreams remain unfulfilled, we often come face to face with one of the most powerful internal barriers to success, self-doubt. This subtle force infiltrates our minds, often without warning, and can wreak havoc on our ability to achieve our goals. Most of us are familiar with that inner voice, sometimes a whisper, sometimes a shout, questioning our worth and our capabilities. It's that insidious thought that asks whether we're truly good enough, smart enough, or deserving enough to pursue the success we envision. Self-doubt, far from being a mere inconvenience, can become a massive psychological hurdle. If left unchecked, it has the power to derail our ambitions entirely. Its roots often lie in early experiences, messages from our parents, teachers, or peers can profoundly shape our self-perception. Consider a child repeatedly told that they're not good at something, say math. Years later, when faced with a numerical challenge, it's hardly surprising that the same individual will struggle, not necessarily because they lack the skill, but because they have internalized the belief that they are not capable. These early experiences plant the seeds of self-doubt, and over time, these doubts grow into towering obstacles that overshadow our potential. But it's not just about our past. Our brains are wired with what's known as a negativity bias, which means we're more likely to focus on negative experiences and criticisms than positive feedback. So, even when we receive praise or encouragement, our internal narrative might filter out the good and amplify the bad, further reinforcing our doubts. But why does self-doubt grip us so tightly? Why can't we simply shake it off? One reason is that self-doubt can serve as a protective mechanism. It shields us from the pain of failure. If we never truly try, we never truly fail, right? But this is the catch. By avoiding the possibility of failure, we also prevent ourselves from ever tasting the sweetness of success. Self-doubt, in this sense, is a double-edged sword. It protects us from disappointment, but also blocks our path to achievement. In today's world, where we're faced with an overwhelming array of choices, self-doubt can thrive. 
The abundance of options often leads to what psychologists call analysis paralysis. We become so afraid of making the wrong decision that we make no decision at all. This indecision is fertile ground for self-doubt, as we start questioning every move we make, fearing that one wrong choice could lead to disaster. To combat self-doubt, self-awareness is essential. Recognizing when these thoughts arise is the first step toward managing them. Once we're aware of our self-doubt, we can challenge its validity. Are these thoughts based on fact, or are they simply perceptions rooted in fear? By putting our self-doubt on trial and demanding evidence, we often find that the case against us is weak. Another powerful tool in this battle is self-compassion. Imagine treating yourself with the same kindness you would offer a friend. Would you ever tell a friend that they're not good enough to pursue their dreams? Likely not. So why do we say such things to ourselves? Replacing self-criticism with compassion creates a nurturing internal environment where growth can flourish. It's important to remember that self-doubt doesn't disappear overnight. It takes practice and persistence to change our thought patterns. One effective strategy is to develop a habit of positive self-talk. By consistently countering negative thoughts with affirmations of our abilities, we can gradually shift the way we see ourselves. Over time, this can lead to a profound remodeling of our self-confidence. However, overcoming self-doubt doesn't mean adopting blind optimism. Rather, it requires grounded self-belief. This involves acknowledging our weaknesses, working to improve them, and setting realistic expectations for ourselves. It's about recognizing that while we may face challenges, we are equipped to overcome them. Engaging in activities that boost our self-efficacy is another way to fight self-doubt. Self-efficacy refers to our belief in our ability to succeed in specific situations. By taking on challenges, even small ones, and succeeding, we build up a personal archive of success stories. These stories become invaluable when self-doubt rears its head because we have tangible evidence of our capabilities to draw upon. Visualization can also play a critical role in overcoming self-doubt. Athletes often visualize their success before a big event mentally rehearsing their moves to prepare both mind and body for the challenge ahead. Similarly, by visualizing ourselves succeeding in our endeavors, we create a mental blueprint for success, making it easier to actualize those dreams in reality. Ironically, one of the most effective ways to combat self-doubt is by embracing vulnerability. By sharing our fears and doubts with others, we often discover that we're not alone. This sense of shared vulnerability can dismantle the isolation that self-doubt so often fosters, replacing it with a sense of connection and support. While self-doubt can feel like a constant presence in our lives, it is not unconquerable. Through awareness, self-compassion, and strategic action, 
We can move past the fog of uncertainty and step into our true potential. This journey isn't easy, but it is worthwhile. On the other side of self-doubt lies a world of untapped potential and abilities, just waiting to be realized. One common excuse for not pursuing our dreams is the myth of perfect timing. Many of us fall into the trap of waiting for all the stars to align before we take action. We tell ourselves that we'll start when the conditions are just right, when we have more time, more money, or more experience. However, this is a dangerous illusion. The idea of perfect timing is often an unconscious defense mechanism, a way of rationalizing our procrastination and avoiding the risks that come with stepping outside our comfort zone. By waiting for everything to be perfect, we're essentially making excuses. The reality is that perfect timing doesn't exist. There will never be a moment when everything is perfectly aligned. Success is achieved by those who act despite uncertainty, who move forward even when the path ahead isn't clear. The pursuit of change often leads us to believe in the idea of waiting for the right moment. While it might seem rational at times, more often than not, this notion turns into an obstacle that we place in front of ourselves. It becomes a reason to stay comfortably still while the world around us keeps moving. Procrastination is something many of us master without even realizing it. It is the silent thief of time, the invisible force that convinces us to delay tasks, pushing responsibilities into an indefinite future. This habitual postponement doesn't just affect minor daily chores, it seeps into our biggest, life-altering plans. I'll start when I'm ready, we tell ourselves. But readiness is not some future state that will magically arrive. It is a present state of mind, one that we must cultivate now not later. Waiting for perfect conditions is often just a mask for fear and reluctance. There's always a reason to hold back, the economy isn't stable, we're too busy, or we'll feel more prepared once we've gained another skill or finished another project. But each time we succumb to these seemingly reasonable excuses, we sharpen the blade of procrastination, slicing away at opportunities and time that could be spent making real progress. In reality, waiting for the perfect moment is often an overestimation of the challenges ahead and an underestimation of our ability to handle them. Our minds are adept at conjuring up worst-case scenarios that paralyze us into inaction. As a result, procrastination fuels anxiety, which then continues to feed the cycle of delay. The more we put off a task, the more intimidating it becomes. It grows much like a shadow lengthening as the sun sets, until it feels impossible to tackle. As this shadow looms larger, the perceived difficulty of the task also grows, making procrastination even more tempting. But this delay often leads to frustration with ourselves triggering an internal dialogue full of self-criticism. We begin to believe we've already failed, even before starting, 
and this negative mindset makes it even harder to take the initiative. However, there is a truth that those who have triumphed over procrastination know well. There is no perfect time for most things in life. Opportunities rarely come gift-wrapped and presented under ideal circumstances. Successful people don't wait for the stars to align. They dive into situations that are far from perfect. It's not the external circumstances that determine success. It's the determination to push forward and work with whatever conditions are at hand. Taking action before feeling fully prepared forces us into growth. It's in these imperfect situations where we gain the most valuable experiences and develop the skills necessary for success. Action puts us face to face with the realities of life and with ourselves, and there's an undeniable power in that. For those who truly want to break free from procrastination, Shifting from a results-driven mindset to a process-oriented one can make all the difference. Instead of obsessing over the outcome, we can focus on the small steps we can take right now. Even the smallest actions build momentum, and each step forward is a strike against the inertia that holds us back. As we see progress in real time, it reinforces our belief in the process and diminishes the need for everything to be perfect before we start. The old saying, a journey of a thousand miles begins with a single step, rings true. Progress doesn't come from one grand leap made under perfect conditions. It's the accumulation of many small, determined steps that leads us to our goals. Moreover, changing the way we view mistakes or failures can free us from the paralyzing grip of perfectionism. When we accept that making missteps is part of the learning process, we stop seeing them as a reflection of our worth or ability. Mistakes become valuable lessons rather than proof of inadequacy. Trying and coming up short is infinitely more constructive than never trying at all because the timing wasn't ideal. Those who succeed understand that failure is just a stepping stone on the path to success, and resilience is often the most significant reward of all. Building a bias toward action allows us to understand that favorable timing will not appear magically, it emerges as we engage with our goals. As we throw ourselves into our tasks, opportunities that once seemed distant or unclear begin to come into focus. What we once thought impossible under the wrong circumstances becomes not only possible but within our reach. This transformation only occurs when we let go of the myth of perfect timing and step confidently into action. The concept of perfect timing is mostly an illusion a comforting but deceptive notion that blocks us from the truth about achieving success. True achievement comes from deliberate, consistent action, perseverance, and resilience, even in the face of imperfect conditions. Procrastination and excuses, the two hallmarks of waiting for the perfect time, only serve to keep us stuck in place while the world moves forward. By embracing the present, no matter how imperfect it may seem, and taking action, we seize control over our futures. 
Each moment we choose to act adds to our progress, and it's in these moments of effort that real change is born. Consistency plays a significant role in overcoming procrastination and achieving success. The journey to success isn't a smooth, straight road. It's filled with unexpected turns, inclines, and obstacles. While the destination might be our focus, it's the regular, determined steps we take that ultimately get us there. Consistency, the act of repeating certain actions over time, becomes the foundation for long-term progress. In a world obsessed with overnight success and rapid transformations, the importance of consistency often goes overlooked. Yet it is this quiet, steady commitment to a course of action that leads to great achievements. Successful habits, once formed, become second nature. They are the unseen framework that supports extraordinary accomplishments. Think of an athlete who trains relentlessly, no matter the weather or their mood. Their success doesn't come from a single race or a perfect day of training. It's the relentless effort, day after day, that shapes them into champions. Similarly, the most celebrated artists and intellectuals didn't stumble upon their masterpieces in sudden bursts of genius. It was the dedication to their craft repeated over time that allowed them to create something remarkable. The pursuit of mastery in any field is not typically marked by grand moments of sudden brilliance, but by the steady, methodical honing of one's craft through consistent routines. Whether it's an artist, an athlete, or a professional, Success often comes from simple, repeated actions that eventually lead to the creation of something magnificent. These routines become so ingrained in daily life that they enable individuals to move beyond basic proficiency, allowing their artistry or skills to flourish. The human brain has an extraordinary ability to adapt and it loves patterns. By establishing habits, we tap into the power of the brain to automate tasks, which reduces the mental load involved in decision-making. When actions are habitual, they no longer require significant conscious effort, which frees the mind to focus on more complex problems. This cognitive efficiency is crucial for success, as it directs mental resources towards innovation and problem solving rather than on the minutiae of daily routines. Consistency plays an immense role here. Like the steady drip of water that can eventually wear away a stone, small, Consistent efforts build up over time and compound into something significant. This compounding effect applies not only to financial investments, but also to personal growth. Learning a language for just 15 minutes a day, writing a single page every morning, or reading 10 pages of a book every night may seem insignificant on a daily basis, but over a year, these small efforts amount to considerable achievement. Becoming successful is not about the occasional bursts of motivation or dramatic gestures. It's about quiet dedication the daily commitment to seemingly mundane actions that build toward a larger goal. Consistency doesn't rely on sporadic effort, 
it thrives on regularity. Forming habits is key, but this is often easier said than done. The distractions of modern life, social media, entertainment, and the constant demand for instant gratification can make the slow, steady progress earned by consistent effort feel frustrating. This is where the true value of habit becomes evident. Habits provide the structure that carries us through moments of distraction, doubt, and frustration. One of the most effective ways to foster consistency is to set clear cues and create an environment that promotes productive habits. Whether it's using sticky notes to remind yourself of your tasks or organizing your workspace in a way that encourages focus, these small adjustments can help anchor productive actions into your daily routine. Another powerful tool in building consistency is measurement. Tracking progress, whether it's the number of words written, miles run, or hours practiced, provides tangible evidence of improvement. Even small incremental changes can boost motivation, serving as a reminder of why the habit was important in the first place. This sense of progress creates accountability and makes consistency not just a desirable quality, but a non-negotiable part of life. As time goes on, the initial struggle to establish habits diminishes. What once required significant effort becomes second nature. The habit takes root and becomes the mechanism by which goals are pursued and ultimately achieved. For anyone climbing their personal ladder of success, it's essential to remember that consistency, though often lacking the glamour of overnight victory, is the key to long-term achievement. Progress doesn't come in great leaps, but in steady, quiet steps that inch us ever closer to our goals. When consistency becomes ingrained, it fosters the perennial growth necessary for success. This continuous forward motion may not always feel significant in the moment, but over time, the cumulative effect becomes undeniable. Thus, creating and nurturing daily habits that support regular action is arguably one of the most crucial investments anyone can make in their journey toward personal and professional achievement. It's worth noting that success is rarely a one-time event. It's not the result of a single moment of inspiration, but the culmination of sustained, consistent efforts. The forces of habit, exercised with unwavering consistency, are the engines driving success. When you embed these habits into your life, the compounding effect of your actions will eventually lead you to the success that's so often described in the stories of those we admire. Many of the individuals we look up to, those who have achieved remarkable things, did not rely on a stroke of luck or a singular moment of genius. Instead, they walk the same path of consistency you're on now, one step at a time. Their success was built from a foundation of small, repetitive actions, much like yours can be. However, the fear of failure often holds people back from making the kind of consistent effort that leads to success. This fear, in many ways, 
is an emotional reaction fueled by the imagination's vivid portrayal of what could go wrong rather than what could go right. When faced with new challenges, this fear whispers warnings of embarrassment, disappointment, and loss, persuading us to stay within the confines of our comfort zones, where everything is predictable. Yet, it's in this so-called safety that our dreams and aspirations wither. The fear of failure keeps us shackled, preventing us from reaching our true potential. This fear is deeply rooted in our psyche, often stemming from childhood experiences. Maybe we were reprimanded for making a mistake, or perhaps we experienced a public failure that made us believe it's better not to try than to risk failing again. Societal pressures also reinforce this fear. We're inundated with stories of overnight successes, while failures are hidden from view. As a result, the fear of failure becomes overwhelming, making it easy to shy away from opportunities that carry even the smallest chance of failure. Ironically, when we let this fear guide our actions, we often sabotage our efforts. We procrastinate or give up at the first sign of difficulty, which only reinforces the belief that we were destined to fail all along. This self-fulfilling prophecy ensures that we never reach the success we're capable of achieving. But imagine if we could let go of this fear. Picture the liberation that would come from breaking free of the constraints imposed by fear of failure. To do this, we must first recognize that failure, in its most constructive form, is an invaluable teacher. Every failure provides lessons that no textbook can offer, and rather than viewing it as a badge of disgrace, we should see it as a necessary part of the learning process. The path to success is rarely linear, and failure is not only inevitable but essential. Each setback offers insights that help us improve and move closer to our goals. By embracing failure as part of the journey, we free ourselves from its grip and open up new possibilities for growth and achievement. Failure is not an enemy, rather, it is an emblem of experience, a symbol that announces our courage to strive seek, and refuse to retreat. It is the mark of those who have dared to push the boundaries of their comfort zones. To defeat the fear of failure, one must start by altering the way success and failure are perceived. Success should be seen as the process of learning, evolving, and advancing rather than as a destination or final outcome. By shifting our perspective this way, we realize that failure is not the antithesis of success, but an integral part of it. It is a temporary detour, not an impassable roadblock. When we embrace this mental shift, we empower ourselves to tackle challenges and risks with curiosity rather than fear. Instead of fixating on the question, what if I fail, we can pivot to ask, what will happen if I never try, or what lessons can I extract from this experience? In doing so, we transform fear into fuel for growth. Another powerful method for addressing the fear of failure is the practice of fear setting, a concept popularized by thought leaders as a companion to goal setting. 
In fear setting, we bring our deepest fears into the light by explicitly defining them. What is the worst possible outcome? By writing down our worst case scenarios, they often seem far less frightening. This simple exercise shifts them from vague, terrifying possibilities into concrete, manageable challenges. Once the worst case scenario is laid out, we can go even further by devising contingency plans. What could we do to mitigate the damage if the worst does occur? How would we recover? Fear setting transforms the unknown into the known, and the power of fear dissipates in the face of thoughtful preparation. We gain control over our fears by preparing for them instead of letting them lurk in the background as silent threats. A critical aspect of conquering the fear of failure is having a strong support network. Surrounding yourself with mentors, friends, and loved ones who can offer encouragement, wisdom, and reminders of your worth can make a profound difference. These people act as mirrors, reflecting back to you your potential and strength during moments of self-doubt. They help you maintain perspective, reminding you that stumbles are part of the journey, not the end of it. In addition to personal support, Finding inspiration in the stories of others who have overcome failure can be immensely beneficial. History is full of individuals who faced significant setbacks only to rise stronger. Their resilience serves as a reminder that failure is not a sign of inadequacy but a prerequisite for growth. These examples instill hope and fortify our belief that each failure brings us closer to ultimate success. Most importantly, we must embrace a simple yet profound truth, inaction is the only true failure. If we take action and fall short, we still gain valuable insights and learn crucial lessons. But if we do nothing, we face the failure of stagnation without even the benefit of growth or wisdom. Realizing this is liberating because it reframes failure not as an outcome to be feared, but as a tool for self-discovery and progress. Every step we take toward our goals, no matter how small or tentative, diminishes the looming shadow of failure. That once menacing specter becomes a guide, nudging us toward new understandings and capabilities. The act of confronting our fears gradually chips away at their power until they no longer govern our actions. Instead, they become familiar companions on the journey to success. Overcoming the fear of failure is not something that happens overnight. It demands ongoing effort, vigilance, and, above all, self-compassion. Old habits of fear and doubt do not disappear quickly. They resurface often unexpectedly, requiring us to repeatedly summon our courage and push forward. However, each time we make the decision to move forward in spite of our fear, we weaken its grip. And in those moments, we discover not only the limits of our capabilities but the boundlessness of our potential. This process of stepping beyond fear helps to forge an indomitable spirit, a spirit that understands that the path to success is lined with setbacks. 
this spirit does not view obstacles as failures, but as stepping stones to something greater. Each setback, no matter how jarring, becomes a lesson in resilience, helping us build the strength we need to reach new heights. The road to success is rarely smooth, but it is precisely these rough patches that shape and define our character. So, take a deep breath. Gather your courage and take that leap. In the delicate balance between action and inaction, it is the fear of failure that stands to lose the most. By stepping forward, you reclaim your power from that fear. And with every step, you pave the way to success, not in spite of failure, but because of it. In addition to overcoming the fear of failure, Another common barrier to personal growth is the feeling of imposter syndrome. Many individuals, even highly accomplished ones, wrestle with the nagging belief that they do not deserve their success or that they are somehow a fraud. This mindset can be just as limiting as the fear of failure, if not more so because it corrodes self-confidence and prevents people from fully owning their achievements. Building authentic self-confidence begins with recognizing that imposter syndrome is incredibly common. Even the most successful people have moments of self-doubt. Acknowledging this universality can reduce the shame or isolation that often accompanies these feelings. More importantly, it reminds us that self-doubt is not a reflection of our true abilities but a mental hurdle that we must learn to navigate. To counter imposter syndrome, it is essential to document and reflect on your successes both big and small. Keeping a record of your achievements helps to ground your confidence in reality. When self-doubt creeps in, these tangible reminders of your hard work and competence can provide the reassurance you need to push through. Seeking feedback from trusted peers or mentors can also help to combat imposter syndrome. They can provide a more objective view of your abilities and offer perspective on the value you bring to your work. Sometimes, the gap between how we perceive ourselves and how others see us can be illuminating. Hearing from those who believe in your potential can bolster your self-confidence and help you internalize your worth. Finally, one of the most important steps in overcoming imposter syndrome is to stop comparing yourself to others. Everyone's journey is unique, and measuring your progress against someone else's can distort your perception of your own achievements. Instead of fixating on what others are doing, Focus on your personal growth and the steps you are taking toward your goals. By embracing failure as a learning tool and building genuine self-confidence, you position yourself to achieve your fullest potential. Success, in the end, is not about avoiding failure or pretending to be perfect. It is about embracing imperfection, learning from every experience, and showing up consistently in pursuit of your dreams. Copyright 2024 by Free Books Tube. Thank you for listening. Please consider to subscribe, like, and share to help the channel growth. New videos on a daily basis.